Right then guys, another very quick video showing you how to um, stop the brick calipers and um, pads um, clanking, if you will. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but sometimes when you go over small um, lumps and bumps in the road, you might get some um, quite noisy clanking or banging. Um, it could be to do with the springs in here, or the the, um, the guides, what hold everything in place. So get yourself on um, Amazon. I'll throw a link in the description. Um, I've got some new ones here, and just replace them. Um, that's the fitting kit, the MX5. Uh, there, there we go. Look, does both sides, and these. How much do these cost? These only cost down pound seventy nine. So ten quid. And hopefully uh, it will stop the um, clanking about um, in the background. So without further ado, I need to take these bolts off that one and that one down there. The nut is a size 13, um, but you're also going to need a spanner as well. Quite a thin spanner uh, to go on there. So what you need to do is loosen the bottom one. Because uh, what we're going to do is try and just slide it out. Put the top one on there. I've already loosened band off. What we're going to do is take the nut all the way out. So just keep doing that. It'll become loose. Then you can use your fingers. Just give it a wiggle while you're doing that. So there you go. There's your little, there's your little nut. Yep. Yeah. Might have quite new, so easy to come out. What we're gonna do, actually, we're gonna take the full lot out, to be fair. Um, it's gonna be easier that way. It's just gonna be a lot easier to mess around, try and keep it all in there. So, set the bottom one out as well. You shouldn't do this what I'm doing. Just take the nut off, hold that steady, and take the nut off and screw the nut like that. Don't do this what I'm doing, because it can knacker the boot up. All right, so that's that. So that's that nut out as well. Stick on the floor, take your spanner off. Then what we're going to do is hopefully making sure it's out of gear, making sure the handbrake's not on, because if the handbrake's on, um, it will not come off at all. So what we're going to do is slowly just wiggle it out, wiggle it out, and it will come out. And there we go. Right, what you need to do as well is a bit of rope or bungee or cord to hook it up. <coughs> what I'm going to do is get an axle stand, put its iron set in. Put it down there like that. You can see that. Put it down there like that. Then that should sit on there. And there you go. Simple as that. You go, this sits on there nice and neatly. Uh, but you can hook it up uh, out of the way. It just takes the pressure and just straight off the cables. So what you can do now is wiggle the pads out. That's not very clever, is it? Wiggle the pads out. There you go. There's one pad. Actually, the pad's not too bad. Uh, the, yeah, it's not too bad, that pad, to be fair. Should wear gloves uh, doing this. And that side will come out as well. So, right then. There are your clips. There and there. So what we're going to do is before you start riving out and breaking them, just take it out, slide it out, have a quick look, get your new ones, get your new ones out of the packets. And offer it up. So old one, new one. Yeah, easy peasy. So again, straightforward. In fact, while we're gonna be here, you might as well take a buff off and give it a good clean. So bear with.
bit, bit of brick cleaner in there. Give it a good wipe, get a good clean. It just stops the crap building up. Again, folks, look after the car, the car look after you. For 10 quid, it's definitely worth it. And obviously it's your brakes, end of the day. It's these things that are gonna stop you um, crashing into a tree. So again, easy, slots onto the disc like that, goes up and clips in, he says. There you go, clips in. Same with the bottom one. Onto the disc, slide down, pop in. And when you put your brakes back on, there you go, when you put your brakes back on, that will hold that in place a lot better. So what we're gonna do next is these covers go on the back of your E-discs. Yeah, they go on like that, like that even. To, it's easy to see because you've got to see that clip there and clip there. Man could do renew it, renewing. I didn't realise it was this bad. So what I'm going to do is going to do a quick clean up and put a bit of copper grease on there. So let's give them a clean. Right then, if by magic, brake pads are back in. Brembo ones. Right, wasn't that expensive, so I'll put the um, uh, link in the description below um i think it was about 32 quid for the set both sides but with the shims in this um wear indicator um goes this side uh the only green one where to be fair so it goes on this side which is the driver side in the uk uh, so just follow the old one really the shims are in or the the um metal bracket holder things uh, clamps, springs, depending on where you are in the world, they're called different things really. Um, guard plates. Um, so I put some new ones in them in. Obviously, new some new pads in there. Uh, put them in before you put your copper grease on. Um, put a bit of copper grease on there, not a lot at all. Uh, but again, before we do that, we need to get the um, piston back into its housing. So that there, if you look closely on this, you can see this should be a little bit, um, let me get rid of this one, that um, rust on there, sorry about that. So you should, should be able to see a little indentation on there, uh, which levels up. Let's keep looking for it. I'm gonna give it a quick clean actually. So bear with me, I'm gonna give it a quick clean with some brake cleaner. Right. Give that a quick clean actually. See if we can see. Yeah, it's there on mine. So that there, and you can catch it on a camera, it's slightly indented. Um, if that's a word, so it's got a slight indent to it which is there. So, for all of you DIYers and um, novice mechanics out there, you may not have, for the MX-5, uh, the clamp, the, the piston clamp that rotates the piston to take it inwards. Um, I've got one of them, but these, these videos are for your DIYer, your novice mechanic uh, wants to do a little bit of work on the car to save themselves a few quid. Top tip, uh, make sure your piston is free. Um, what we're going to do is going to rotate the piston with a pair of long nose pliers. And what we're going to do is just turn and push it at the same time. It will move, but before you do that, ladies and gentlemen, we need to make sure that. Bear with me. Your brake fluid reservoir cap is off. Because what you're going to do is you're going to push the fluid towards this. Push the piston in, the fluid's going to come this way. So that's off. Leave the cap loose like that. 
don't close it off, don't screw it down, just leave it loose. Because what you don't want to do and leave it like that is stop crap getting into the top of there. So leave it on there like that. The air will come out and it will come up. If you don't take it off, you're never going to close it. So leave it loose, stop crap getting in. But let's get back to this. Sorry, don't bear with me. Right. So what we're going to do, other than that, it's it's easy job. Get the piston and push it in. And that indentation that I mentioned earlier on, that's got to line up with the back show you so that that there that there has got to line up with that hole there more or less back a bit there you go I'll put that back on your axle stand now we're going to put a bit of copper grease on very very small amount making sure you do not you do not get it on the disc itself you don't need much just stick that on there stick that on there not too much so all this does is um stops it from squeaking it stops things seizing up so again just on the back over here you're always best off putting it on when the pads are in because it gets everywhere. So, what you can do, take your gloves off, put a fresh pair of gloves on if you so wish. I'd highly recommend you do that. But my calipers are nice and clean. So, hopefully, that should slide on there nicely. There you go. There you go. That is as easy as that. What we're going to do next is put your little bolts in. One at the top. One at the bottom. Oh, can't see. One at the bottom. We'll the caliper out of the way. The axle stand out of the way. What I'm going to do is line up. There we go. Yeah, and just do it tight. Finger tight. Get that up there. So, what we'll do now is I'm going to get my ratchet and I'm going to tighten them up. You're going to need a 17mm to go on there and a 13mm for them. Sorry. Yeah. Right, I've got my 13 mil now. <sighs> 13 mil. You can use a gun. If you are going to use a gun, make sure the setting is at 22 pounds per square inch. Okay, so we'll get our. 17 mil on there. So I'll just keep doing that till it tightens up. Bit of garlic. Oh. So you can see that. Let's put that there. That is to be tightened up to twenty-two pounds per square inch. I like that. Right then, bottom one. Again, screw it on your fingers. Makes life a little bit easier. Make sure that's tight. There you go. So that side is now done. 
So let's do do the side now. Right then, let's do the um, this side together. So get your pads ready. Get your seventeen mil spanner ready. Get your thirteen mil socket. Make sure everything's together. So let's do this side together. We're going to break off the thirteen mil nuts at the back, like so. Like so. Let's see how this long this text is. So. So I, will, I don't know how long it's going now. So that's one bolt out. Bottom bolt out. Get your axle stand. Slide caliper off. It will come off. Will be tight. There you go. Close it up. It will come just a bit dirty. So pads out. One pad. These pads are still okay. Over the shim at the back. All right. So put that side in the bin. Get that moving. See that it's just wrecked. Bin. What you can do, just a bit of brake cleaner. Out. Shims or spring clamps, or whatever you want to call them. We'll come out. Done. Out. Done. Out. What we're going to do next. Spray it, spray it, clean. Spray it clean. Clean, clean. Done. New clamps in, they can only go one way. It. Top, on, push in the middle, a bit more fiddly here. Yeah. So that's in. Pads, only go one way. Recommend putting the back ones in first. It's a bit easy for yourself. So I'll go into the top, as you can see that bit better. You have to guard it yourself. There you go. In, where's me? He says, and this is why, folks, you don't put the copper grease on first, it's just a bit fiddly. It's found me all. There it is. Very fiddly. The camera's in the way, so let's try and move on to the camera. Down there. In. There you go. 
they are a pain to get in folks but they will go in I promise you try to put the bottom in first anyway there you go so that's my bricks in just double check yeah that's in this side in now it's all easy this side just a bit more fiddly it is easier. Get in there. Get away a minute. There you go, she's in. Bit of brute force. Didn't hurt anybody. So I'm making sure that it's in. What you can do. If you have got a little mirror, just make sure it's seated correctly, which it is. Yep. So I'm happy with that. So that's seated correctly. Well again, what I need to do now. Like we did the other side. Yeah, clean. Need to look for a little indentation. Which is on that one there. Probably can't see it. And I'm going to do the same with the this side. Get your long nose pliers. Or if you've got the correct tool, use the correct tool. But what we're going to do next is stick that in there like that. And just turn. It's easy. Turn and push. Until it's all the way in. A little bit fiddly. There you go. Now, what I recommend, if you have got the time to do it, is give your brakes a service. That means taking the piston out and all that kind of stuff. However, I fully understand and appreciate that a lot of home garages does, doesn't have the capabilities or the tools or anything else to do with that so just do that if it moves great if it doesn't you're stuck a little bit to be fair so i'm gonna do that let it dry for a second quit right down again this side bit of copper grease back of the pads so i'm just gonna use a bit of copper grease there folks Put it a bit on there. Put it a bit on there. There you go, and that's that done. Put your cap back on. What I'm going to do next is make sure your hands are nice and clean, got no grease on them. Is we're going to put the caliper back on. There you go. Find your bolt. Put the top one in first. And that's that one. Get your second bolt in. Line it up. You may have to push the back of this down to line it up. Just do it hand tight. It's a very easy service to do this one. It's easy for me to say that, but it generally is. It, it shouldn't take you no more than an hour. Taking it steady. And as you've seen from that, it's not a difficult job. I'm using basic hand tools to do this. Nothing expensive, nothing out of the ordinary. The most expensive part is your brake pads. Uh, load that one up. 
to the bottom one up. So there's two bolts to take off really. Yes, I understand that people out there might have dirt or rust or crud all over it. But just take your time, get it clean. So again, 22 pounds per square inch, which isn't a lot. And that folks is job done. That took us 10 minutes, literally 10 minutes to do. Um, so hopefully you like this quick video or these quick videos. If you do, please um, like and subscribe to them. Uh, please subscribe because obviously it helps the algorithms. Over 90% of my viewers, which I am getting a lot now to be fair, are uh, not subscribed. Um, so please subscribe. I've got videos coming out all the time of basic mechanics um, and I will over the period obviously increase uh, my work on this car on the Mark 3 so make sure you um, look out um, put your notifications on to look for it as well because um, you won't want to miss out on some of the stuff that I intend to do going forward we're starting off with a very basics first then we'll progress on to something more complicated, shall we say. So that's that done. Thanks very much for watching. Um, keep a keep an eye out for the next one, which is going to be the gearbox oil. Um, so keep an eye out for that one. So other than that, thanks so much for watching. Until the next one, goodbye. Thank you.